Hey y'all, welcome back to another SJ Games Live. My name is Hunter and we are unboxing something really cool this week. If you didn't know, on our social media we've been promoting it. It's a new Kickstarter week. We've got the uh, Hexagram 6 Kickstarter going on right now for the Fantasy Trip. Uh, we don't get to do a ton of the Fantasy Trip on uh, our unboxing stuff because normally they're Kickstarters and they come out kind of after the campaign. But along with Hexagram 6, which is kind of our zine dedicated to the Fantasy Trip, uh, you can also get a few other supplements. Uh, there's a playmat uh, as well as these two here, Adventures 2 and Old School Monsters. Uh, these are going to be two different books that have different focuses and add some stuff to your campaigns. Adventures adds some adventures, uh, some pre-made uh, adventures for your campaign. And Old School Monsters uh, goes through and actually adds a bunch of monsters not just uh when they say old school not just like old school in the sense of like in the past in game but like in the past in real life like these are going to be old school monsters from way back in older rpgs and stuff like that you may have seen before uh thanks to the open gaming license i think it's called we get to use some of them in our game and th so they're statted up for our game for the fantasy trip and you can uh you get tokens and stuff so we're gonna unbox these uh the hex hexagram six has not been printed yet, but these are in the process of being printed. So these are kind of early copies of those. Uh, so we will take a look at. Let's start with. Uh, let's start with Adventures Two. I'll throw that under here, and we'll get a picture. This is the sh kind of the shipping box. You, I believe, you'll be getting in this. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yep, we have cracked the tape on this. So let's pop that out. And I'll flip it around. Ooh, there's a few things in here. Okay, I love this art on the cover. It's just so vibrant. So we've got the book itself, and then we've got the mega hex tiles and hex tiles. Uh, I've obviously played the fancy trip. It's all based around mega hexes. Uh, you build maps out of this, and distance and stuff is all based on the hexes themselves. Uh, I do love the color on these. Usually, stuff I've seen has been a lot of black and white, which is, it's a cool style. But seeing like the purples on there is really cool. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, we've also got some tokens here. Uh, these are generally in color. They have different, various different things here, but I'm sure we'll be able to see what what references some of these. Some cool textures there. Got like a river here, pentagram chamber. I love the big triangle ones here that cr c cover multiple hexes. Yeah, there's a lot of variety of uh, tokens here. I'm sure they associate with the different adventures, which we'll see in a bit. We'll flip through this book here. Yeah, you get, uh, what is that? Six, five, five sheets of tokens. They're nice and, uh, oops, punching them out here. I shouldn't do that. This is an early copy. We can't do that yet. But these are nice and glossy. Uh, I don't believe they're double, oh, they are double-sided. Wow, that's awesome. So double-sided uh, in color. So that's really cool. You get a lot, of, a lot of tokens there. You get tons of stuff. And here's the book itself, which I'll actually be able to flip through for you here. Uh, I don't want to spoil everything, but we'll, we will flip through some. We'll, let's see the back of it before I do that. Adventure again. It's got all the tokens back here. And actually shows the uh, the authors here, which is really cool. So you got Old School Adventure uh, with Steve actually wrote that one. You got Darkness by uh, Tony uh, Tony Van Loo. I, I never pronounced that last name right. Uh, Paradise Fault, Howard Kistler, Shining Tower, David Pulver. He's done a lot of stuff with us. Amazon of the uh, Amazons of the, the Sky Turtle by Henry Cobb. That is Amazons of the Sky Turtle. I need to check that one out. Let's take a look. So we got nice glossy pages, and then we got nice glossy front pages, and then kind of like a matte finish on the ones inside. I love our fancy trip art. This stuff is great. Shun secret, share slogan, stone scroll, slow, oh my goodness. Uh, simple, strong hit the player should share the information from their dreams. Interesting, okay. I love the, I love the layout in these books. It's got the, it, it's got the main stuff, but then it's got these really cool little inserts all over the place that give you input on stuff like, here's how to use the mega hex tiles, but it's, it's got a unique look too. It's got a cool border around the outside. This has got its own like border here. This has got its own border. It just looks old school. I love that. And then you've got uh, some some of the, oh, luck spiders. That sounds terrifying. I don't like that. Uh, man, this is so cool. Yep, we got some layouts. Uh, if you don't want to be spoiled, you'd probably don't want to look at that. But And we've actually got some stuff in here if you want to uh, photocopy 
your mega hexes in case you didn't get the tokens or something along those lines. Uh, you can photocopy that stuff from inside the book. Again, I don't want to spoil everything. We'll flip through tips for running the adventure. Uh, this one is, this was darkness, okay. So we were actually already flipping through. Okay, cool, this was old school adventure. This was Steve, and this is actually illustrated by Rick Hershey, that's cool. So that's Steve's. This is darkness, traveling blind. So it's got rules, again, for darkness and stuff. So this is, I want to, uh, maybe, maybe this one isn't. There is one in here that works off of the new playmat, which I don't have the playmat here, but if you've checked out our Kickstarter, which we have a link to that, Jimmy's put a link to that in the comments, uh, there's a new playmat. Uh, I believe it's called the Ultra Hex playmat, and it's enormous. It's very colorful. It's got tons of hexes on it and uh, works, for what, uh, works for stuff in Hexagram 6, but you can also use it for stuff in Adventures. Um, as like a baseline. You might want to overlay it with other tiles, but it's a really cool play, man. We've got giant snakes, we've got the shadow white, wolves, blood tree, that sounds awful. The scariest one in here is village children. Pretty sure that's the, the baddest bad guy. Ambush, and then, okay, so that's where you get the, you're using the tiles that look like a kind of camo colored almost, or like um, this here. Those tiles go with this, so there you go. The Paradise Vault, got a horrifying looking cube. That looks like it's straight out of Hellraiser. Um, some weird names, Morgalism, Zaxarian Clade. Look at that map, that is, again, if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna spoil it, but that is a, like you can tell how big these adventures are. This is, this is extremely sprawling. You've got like six, eight different sections, no, six different sections, including the, uh, a seventh one in the middle. Really cool, creepy art. Just, just really creepy. Oh, that's, uh, it's weird. This is weird stuff and I like it. I'm here for it. Oh, this one has the bridges and the, uh, oh, that was bridges. That's cool. So it was bridges and river. So let's take a look at that sheet here. Yeah, there it is. So those are bridges. I didn't even think about that. Uh, and has the, uh, the big triangle monster there too. That's awesome. I just love that we you have the option in here. If you want to go full black and white, you can make it that. But we give, we've given you the tokens as well. Shining Tower. Uh, looks like a little bit of a tighter one, but that's cool. I like that too. You get to kind of go up the tower on this one. And it has rules for each of the towers. That's neat too. I dig it. I dig it. I just like that you're getting, you have this stuff and you get like the ability to play it. So you got, the ta you got different tower. I think these are the staircase ones. Staircase tiles, and then the, the lighthouse it looks like. And then Amazons of the Sky Turtle. Now that's probably the most ambitious one I've seen. It's like a turtle shell map. Pegasus Unicorns. And there's a bigger map, I believe, for the... Oh, wow. There's a big maps on this one. Wow, man. those are That's some stuff. So this one has it doesn't have map tiles because it uses... Uh, bigger form maps in different shapes, but you again, you can use your regular the fancy trip tiles to make that map. And then you got your Pegasus unicorns. That's cool. And you got the afterward, and that's that is the book. It's 64 pages, so you're getting a good amount of content. You got five full adventures to use with your campaign, uh, and you can integrate however you want. Now I'm really excited to dig in the next one. This is going to be monsters, old school monsters. So let's crack it open. Spin it around. There it is. I love this cover. This is so cool. Oh, and there's a lot of sh there's a lot of stuff in here. There's two sheets of tokens, and there's some cards we can dig into. So that's the cover there. They might be old, but that just makes them more dangerous. <laughs> okay, I like it. Got like a Velociraptor looking thing on the cover. Oh, and look at those tokens. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll go through those in a sec, and we'll take, we'll have to crack these cards up, and I'll move the, move the box off to the side here. Uh, let me save these cards for a sec. We'll go through those last. So let's take a look at these sheets first. I love these sheets and the uh, um, tokens and stuff. I think you I think I've already, but I love the old school art, but I also love the colorized versions of stuff here. It really, it really, it really looks great. Oh man, these look so creepy. I love this. This looks like a weird like world manta ray. Oh, so cool, these snails, that is so gross. It's like a snail with like 
multiple protruding mushroom eyes. Oh, so cool. That is, this is just, this is just awesome. There's a gelatinous cube. Everybody loves gelatinous cubes. I know, and we're taking a look at them now, but I'm sure we'll see a lot of this stuff in the book itself. That looks awesome. A lot of tree and like mushroomy type stuff. That's really cool. Something with tons of eyes, a little rose bush. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I'm really excited about these. And then we'll take a flip through the book. And this is, of course, compiled by Steve. This is, uh, a lot of this stuff, is, it's, a, it's a passion for Steve. He really loves the fantasy trip, and he wants to keep growing the world. This is stuff that, like, you're, you're going to see a lot of stuff, I'm sure, in this that he wants in the game. This is stuff that maybe was uh, made elsewhere, but he really wanted in, in the fantasy trip, which is really cool. And now he gets official stats. Old school monsters, so it looks like I got some shit of, yep, Rick Hershey and Liz Danforth did the counters. First, right off the bat, let's be real. Fencing, three musketeers, frog. That's my that's my winner. Clear winner in the book. Oh, uh, adherer. Kind of a gross zombie looking thing. Boy, they're starting off real strong for me and my pronunciation skills. Amphis Amphisbana is that's the Ouroboros kind of. That's the whole snakiness tell. Similar thing, but not exactly. Amphisbana. One hex creature it has all the stats there again for its abilities. Uh, cool little flavor text that even it got flavor text as well as like rules for the flavor text, like how to use it in encounters. Uh, kind of like oh, see like so this just to give you an idea. I'm not going to read all of these because they're going to there's a lot of them uh, and there's a lot of cool text to discover yourself. But a nest of aspen Amphisbana has learned a new trick. They go they go to the top of the hill and roll down, reaching a movement of twenty or even more before they cross the travel road. Several people may have taken by surprise, bitten, and killed in the way. Will the party be the next victim? So it's kind of giving you like a, a guideline. Here's how to do an encounter with the monster itself, which is cool. It gives you the stats up here. It gives you how it attacks. It gives you its abilities. And then he's kind of giving you a, a how to integrate this into your current adventure without having to necessarily, you know, try to figure it out yourself. <laughs> Good place to start from. An archer bush? Is this a... What is that? I'm not as good up to date on old school monsters, so this is all new to me. This is really cool. The Orum Vorax, the Golden Gorger. I believe we saw that token on here. Yeah, we did. We saw that one a little bit earlier. That's cool. Uh, so it's a half. It does. It only takes half uh, from fire. Thirty strength. Now, I don't know all the stats offhand, but I know thirty st is real, real strong. So I think the Golden Gorger may be one of the strongest things in here. We will find out. The Babbler. Kind of like a dinosaur-looking thing. The Bander Log, I've heard that before. So again, this is going to be stuff that I've, that some of the stuff you may recognize. Barrack, it's kind of a platypus rat, platypus warthog. Balabra Tangler, oh, this is a rat, so we want our rats back. There you go. The Balabra Tangler, that, it looks cool. It looks like a jellyfish that's going to take your soul. I don't like the name of the, of the encounter spawning time. That sounds horrific. Blood hawk. It's a hawk with very high move, movement. It's got 30 flying movement, so that's, that makes sense. Uh, so it is a, an evil hawk, I guess. Or I guess it could... It, I don't know if it's necessarily evil. It says falconer and stuff, dark falconer. So maybe something used by evil. The bog mummy. Mm, I love that. Looks kind of like a, like a white or something. Just looks a little bit different. I, li I like that. It's been preserved by the bog itself. 24 strength, so that's really strong too. Hanging was too good for him. So yeah, that's putting it in the bog. Got the bone snapper. That was our raptor. That was our uh, back cover model, it looks like. Gifts for the swamp gods, another swamp monster. Caryatid column, or giant caryatid. Uh, giant caryatid is 30 plus strength. So that's a, uh, that's horrific. That is really good. Man, that's cool. So it's kind of like caryatids are kind of like, I guess, I, they're sculptures. Cause I've actually seen this in other fantasy as well. Um, but I, I guess the way they're animated and different things are just different. Cave fisher. It's a crawfish, folks. We got a big old crawfish. Uh, one thing I really like about 
the fancy trip is our use of like water bound stuff. So we've had we've already seen like bog mummies and stuff like that. So I feel like a lot of these monsters would fit in right next to stuff like the warrior octopus or the wizard octopus, like those villains that we have in in the base games a lot of the time. Like a lot of the stuff fits right along those campaigns. Like you could have a cave fisher in that same world. I would def I would definitely have a cave fisher. I'd have a, a whiz I'd have some kind of like octopus layer that's defended by these things. It's like they're guard dogs. It looks its eyes are just like it looks so dumb, but it's ready to go. I love it. The cave moray again, really good one. Club neck, dust digger, ear seeker. The hood is a is a monster. The executioner's hood itself is a monster. Flynn flail, flump floating knife, flump. I stand for the flump. This is, thing is great. Gelatinous Cube, a classic. The Knoll, absolutely a classic. The Gelatinous Cube, I think, now is officially the strongest thing, though. 40 to 60 strength. Gorble, Gorilla Bear. That is just a gorilla with a bear's head. That is, there. that's it. We got it. So, someone came to work that day and was like, we need a new monster. Gorilla Bear. <laughs> there you go. We just took it. Gripply, there he is. Oh, never mind. Cancel my plants. I'm all in for Gripply. This is my new fan fiction. It's, it's Gripply. It's all Gripply fic. Recruiting Frogmen. Gripply's Believe It or Not is the name of this encounter. <laughs> I, well, at least I know I'm pronouncing the name right. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say it. I know it's not the same word, but I'm just not going to say it. Huacuva. Well, that's cool. Iron Cobra, like a... Jaculi, Camp Fult, Land Lamprey, Kank, Lurker above, Lurker below. Well, you got to have both of them. That was that, um, and that's what we're looking at here with these tokens, I think. The Lurker, one of the Lurkers there, and then we've got the big, the big one, the Lurker below. That's awesome. I like that. Muck Dweller, uh, Mandragora Root, those are always cool. I know those from uh, Castlevania, oddly enough. Mustard jelly, that, what? Okay, you know what? I'll let you guys discover mustard jelly on your own. Necrodiphius, Piercer, the Rock Reptile, Slithering Tracker, the Squealer, this is so cool. Uh, we saw that one too. I know we've seen a lot, all these in tokens, but like I just like seeing the, the bigger ones for some reason. The Stinch Cow, <laughs> he buried the lead with the Stego Centipede. Tabaxi, Tear, Trapper, Throat leech. You don't get to see it, but you can see its results. Ah, oh, the vampire rose. That was that rose bush we saw. The triflower frond. Volt or bolt worm. And wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, that was that creepy thing. That's gigantic. So we did see that one too. That's this big old thing. Look at that. That's humongous. Oh, we lost a token there. Gotta put it back in the. Put it back or Phil will kill me. Hopefully not. Uh, let's see treasures. Oh, we got in this cool. So we actually have some of the tre uh, the the environments that uh, they would sit in. Uh, it tells you kind of like a layout of which ones would go in water, air, stuff like that. And then we got some treasures, which is pretty cool. Like it tells you what they might drop. You could drop itself. It can drop eggs. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. And there's our index and game license there. That's awesome. So that is. Old school monsters. And let's take a look. One, one more thing we've got to unbox here, which is the cards. I won't flip through all of them, but just so you can guys kind of see what these are. Uh, this also comes with it in, in the pledge. And these are uh, these are awesome, actually. This is really cool. Uh, so these cards... Sorry, trying to center it there. <laughs> uh, these cards are like... Uh, the material is like plasticine. They're like, I think they might just be plastic coated, but essentially they are, they look to be dry erase, which I believe they are. And yep, they are. You could actually take notes on the back. These are, these are super, this is a, such a good utility. Yeah, you could track. So down at the bottom, you can track stuff on the card itself. Uh, and they actually have, uh, oh, nice. It even tells you that information at the back of the book, what, which area they are shoot, they're found in jungle, plains, forest. This one's found in caverns, huh? Stack the deck. Yeah, you could literally stack the deck against them. So, yeah, you get. It looks like you get one for everything in the book. Yeah, you get a bunch of them. This one's found in special. 
Uh, and cool, and it actually has a little explanation on how to use them. These cards are the same format for those in the Decks of Destiny. So if you've seen Decks of Destiny, it's the same thing. We th That was in a previous Kickstarter, but I believe it's still available on, on Warehouse 23. And if not, we might, it might be available through the Kickstarter, this Kickstarter as well. Um, so you make a, you can make a sub deck of all cavern creatures, uh, so you can stat the stuff out. You can use the deck to actually generate the creatures. You can use the deck just to keep track of stuff. You can kind of use these cards however you want, but the quality is super high. This is awesome. These are, they're like, I can't, it's hard to explain how, how like nice these feel. Um, they're still very flexible, but they're super, they, they, they feel extremely sturdy, uh, and like they're gonna hold up to a lot of wear and plus there you can definitely ride on them. So that's really cool uh, And that's a lot of cards. That's that is a that is a stack of cards there So so yeah, that is uh that is old-school monsters There's a lot of value in that one I'd say and that's our unboxing for today. That is that's a lot of stuff guys I uh, appreciate y'all uh, hanging in there while I kind of flip through all these books uh, but I wanted to reiterate, these are available through the Kickstarter. They will be available later if you miss out on Warehouse 23, but uh, best, at least for a little while, best way to get them is just through the Kickstarter. Uh, you can get Hexagram 6, which is kind of like a, an additional amount of content, so you, you can back for these two, and then you get Hexagram 6, which is a zine dedicated to, Hex, uh, de dedicated to the fancy trip. It has a bunch of stuff in it similar to this, where it's like adventures or supplements to help you run games, like more monsters, more... Uh, weapons, more treasures, things of that nature. Uh, and it's created by a, a variety of different authors. So similar to Adventures 2 here, it's got 14 different small things. It may be an adventure, it may be a snippet of treasures, it may be some new weapons, uh, all created by different authors and fans of, of the fantasy trip that's been submitted through Steve. Uh, again, it's like a, it's kind of like a, pa it's the biggest passion project. It's just got tons of content. It's by the fans for the fans. Uh, so check that he out, Hexagram 6, it's going on now. Uh, I believe we've got about two weeks left on that campaign, so it's already overfunded, but we are unlocking stretch goals as we speak. Unlocked a bunch of dice so far, and I know Steve's got some surprises up his sleeve, so stay tuned for some of that. Uh, he'll be talking about that on uh, the Daily Illuminator as well. Uh, but in the meantime, already it's a ton of value. These, these are awesome. There's so much content in all this, especially this old school monsters. I'm going to be digging through that and finding some stuff for some games, because this is a... There's a lot of cool stuff in there. I want to. I want to run those. I. I gotta run the Gipley frogs, man. The the Gip the the frog frog free musketeers. That's gotta happen at some point. But guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week for a really special unboxing for the holiday season on SJ Games Live. See you next time.